Well, hello and welcome to Absolutely Positively. I am your host, Denny K, and I greet you. Namaste. <laughs> this place is a wonderful forum for you, especially designed for you. A place to inspire, to encourage, and motivate you to your greatness. As you can see, we're outside getting some fresh air. And if you've been rocking with me and following me, you know it has something to do with today's episode. So again, I believe positively is really good for me just personally uh, when I record these episodes for you. Uh, researching the quote for you. It inspires me. It encourages me. It motivates me to my greatness. So I am giving you everything that I have. And I hope something that is said will inspire you to give everything you have and be better because of it. I just hope to remind you uh, by doing these episodes every week that you are extraordinary. You are super naturally extraordinary. Absolutely positively. <laughs> Without further ado, let's get started. Let's jump in. So as you can see, I'm trying to lean over a little bit. We will be talking about a quote that has something to do about this, but just take a, a look around. Uh, I know my big head baby in a way, but take a look around at the surroundings. So I will be reaching into my jar and pulling out a quote for you that's going to match kind of what our background is about. And today our quote is from the wonderful, Great man, great, great man, Nelson Mandela. Woo, that man right there brings chills, <laughs> chills down my spine. Just what he represents uh, for us and for his country, but, uh, South Africa. But anyway, all right, what is Nelson telling us today and how can it motivate? Nelson Mandela says, it always seems impossible until it's done. I mean, just short and sweet, but it always seems impossible until it's done. And so we can apply that to just about anything. I'm pretty sure you have a story in mind that you can attach to that quote. Um, but for me, this background, I decided to pick this because a lot of us uh, are doing exercise. Uh, a lot of us are getting out now a little bit more. Um, and I know for me, if I saw all of these steps, I might decide to get in my car and go a different route. <laughs> might not want to travel up those steps, but how we look at things sets in our mind uh, the result sometimes of changing our minds and not doing it. How it comes in here and how we transform it in a way to defeat us from doing things is really the basis of this quote. And that's why I chose this stair step because each and every step along the way, you're going to have to convince yourself that this impossible looking path um, is always going to look that way. Anything that's hard, anything that seems like you cannot do it, always seems that way until you get it done, until you move into action and make it up in your mind, determining that you're not going to let this impossible thing be impossible. 
that if you take the I in out of it, then it becomes possible. I think I believe I remember a quote. I can't uh, think of who it comes from uh, because you know I love quotes. Um, but the I am is if you take it out of impossible, it makes it possible. Just two letters, two letters is stopping you from getting it done. And that's what Nelson is reminding us here that not everything is going to seem impossible. Everything, everything we do, it always seems impossible until it's done. And when it's done and you're at the top, then you look back and go, what was I worried about in the first place? Why was I wigging out about this? Why was it stressing me out? But part of that comes from the action and the intention to do so. You, you, if you don't have a good breeding ground, a good fertile ground for intention, first of all, to intend to do something and then the action to do it, you're right. It is going to be impossible. It's going to be very impossible. But we all were equipped. We all were equipped with that, uh, that superpower, I like to say. Um, in the Bible, it talks about faith without works is dead. So there has to be some intention. There has to be some action for that scripture to come through, right? So we cannot get bogged down in the impossible. We have to take out those two letters and make it possible. And how do you do that? Intention, action, practice, discipline, you know, the willingness not to keep, go to not to stop, to keep going no matter what. Maybe not today. So let's use this example of the stairwell. Maybe you can't get to the top today, but maybe you need to train. Maybe you need to do some breathing. Maybe you need to have some water. Maybe you need to distract yourself. And for this particular scene that we're looking at, there are so many wonderful things that you can look at to distract you, to keep you occupied, to enjoy the journey. So retrain, rewire how you're thinking about that word impossible and you can get it done. So many things in my life have been just like this. I train for a 5K and that might not seem to be a lot for you all who are avid uh, runners and joggers, but for me, someone like me that doesn't like exercise, that was a big deal. But I knew that seemed impossible for me. I set an intention that I was going to get it done. And I got in a program to train me in order to get it done. Gave myself a lot of time to get it done, set the goal, enrolled in a race and got it done. But I had to practice. I had to stretch. I had to do all of these things that I felt were, were impossible, but it started with a seed of intention and then followed by action and then rewiring for me. I think that's the biggest thing is how you perceive it. So some of us have to rewire our brains and put it in a frame of mind that only you understand. If uniquely and wonderfully made. What motivates the avid runner, the avid jogger is not going to motivate the avid couch potato. Okay. I not saying that I'm just not going to do anything and don't move around, but that's not where I live in the gym and working out. I eat healthy. I do walk, but to do a 5k, that was something that was foreign to me. So I had to put it in terms that helped me. And that's where the rewiring comes from. Um, how you perceive it and how can you change it? So for me, I just had to say, okay, this is like dancing. I love dancing. That's moving. So let me use that to get uh, motivated, to get uh, uh, exercising, looking at that at exercising. 
it doesn't say how you have to do it, just say you do something. And so some of that 5K was about moving and dancing in some kind of way. And I completed it and then it was done. And I looked at it like, why did I think this was impossible? Because I got it done. And that's what Nelson is telling us is to just remind ourselves that we got it. We just got to do it. We got to put it in action. But the impossible is always going to look daunting. If you set it in your mind as impossible, that's how it's going to come out impossible. There's another quote that says that what you bring in the negativity, if you plant negativity, you're going to grow negativity. So if you're going to plant a word of impossibility into your spirit, then that's what's going to come out, an impossible tree. And we're not trying to grow those. We're trying to get those done. So I hope and pray that something was said today that will remove your impossible, those two little letters, and make it all possible. I hope that this energizes you to do that thing that you've been putting off, to check it off of your bucket list, to check it off of your mind, to scratch it out of your mind and know that you have done it because you had a plan of intention, of action, of rewiring and creating a new seed and planting a whole new possible tree. <laughs> That is our episode, guys. I hope that something that was said today uh, invokes you and inspires you to greatness. I hope that something will motivate you to grow your possible tree. And so I hope you enjoyed today's episode. And so just know that whatever you say, Wherever you go and whatever you touch, you can make the difference for yourself and for others. Absolutely and positively. Until next time, be sure to subscribe to our channel, Mute Mobile Media. But until next time, take care. Jenny K out. I'm going to go grow me a possible tree. Take care.